Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Tuesday, the 5th of March. I'm James Spann, weather wet at times, maybe some thunder today, maybe even a strong storm on the eastern side of the state and a whopper of a snowstorm up to the north. Let's get in there and talk about it. We'll check some of the sky cam shots around the network early this morning. At the insane hour of 5 a.m., that is from Tuscaloosa, the sky's cloudy, a little drizzle in spots, but things are pretty quiet. There's a look at the Jasper Sky Cam. That's the Walker County Courthouse, a scene from the King Building. And who in the world is shopping at 5 a.m.? Well, those guys are in Trussville, and uh, the weather is cloudy and, and fairly mild. Got a whopper of a trough north and west of the state, and that's going to stir up a big fuss for a lot of folks over the next couple of days. Temperatures are pretty mild. We've got 50s around here this morning. Uh, Birmingham, uh, Gadsden, Fort Payne, Shelby County Airport, 54, Tuscaloosa, 57. So a very good chance we'll see low 60s later today. And around the nation, you can start to see the contrast uh, ahead of the storm system. You've got the mild air coming up here, colder air spilling in behind the storm system. Back to the uh, uh, back off to the west, and on the watch warning map, look at all the winter storm warnings up to the north: Minneapolis, St. Paul, Madison, Chicago, Indianapolis, Columbus, Ohio, and winter storm warnings going up for uh, parts of West Virginia, Maryland, West uh, the northern part of Virginia. And of course, that will be impacting uh, D.C. and Baltimore in a great way. In fact, this is the projected snow over the next seventy-two hours. And uh, you've got now a Big Mac showing up up there just west of Boston and Providence, and that would be on Thursday. And uh, goodness, uh, that verifies that's over three feet in a small area. Uh, not in the city of Boston, but just west of Boston. And there's a very sharp cutoff. I mean, you go from nothing on the coast there at Boston to three feet just inland. And that is a forecaster's nightmare. And down in the D.C. Baltimore area, uh, this is showing they might see a very good snow in those cities with the heavier snows off to the west where they could see uh, one to two feet west of Washington. Uh, Philadelphia could see a lot of snow. New York City, uh, some of the boroughs there could uh, see a lot of snow. So if you're traveling up in that region, just be aware of that. Now, this is interesting. The SPC guys have a small, slight risk. That's the standard risk really just along Interstate 85 from near Auburn and Opelika up to Atlanta, uh, where they think there might be uh, a, a risk of severe weather this afternoon. And we'll explore that in more detail. But for most of Alabama, we're not in that. That's just a very small part of East Alabama, really Chambers, Lee, Russell counties, and that's about it. And this is the expected rain. And this is for the next seven days. This carries us through Tuesday morning of next week. So this takes into account the rain we should get today and the rain we should get Monday of next week. And this has rain amounts of about one inch here. Take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the 06Z run at noon today. And the trough north and west of the state does go negative tilt. Uh, down below that, the surface low is north of us on the Ohio River separating Kentucky and Indiana. And down below that, a cold front trails the surface low. So obviously with that, you'll we'll have some rain at times and maybe some thunder today. Uh, we'll check the, the surface dew points. And this is valid at noon today. And this is coming off the uh, rapid refresh model. And those darker shades of orange, those are the 60 degree dew points. That's really what you look for for severe storms in March, and we do note they want to surge up to near Demopolis and Eufaula, uh, not any farther really north than U.S. 80, but those are fairly high. This is the instability, the lifted index, and all of a sudden now, the uh, rapid refresh model is showing an area where the lifted index is below minus 5 Celsius, and that's pretty significant. So, you know, uh, we've talked about no severe weather, but by golly, uh, uh, these values would suggest we could very well see some strong storms today. And this is the projected shear, the bulk shear between the surface and 925 millibars. This is the really low-level shear if you're going to look for tornadoes. And there's a degree of that stretching along Interstate 20, which is a little displaced from the better instability. So, uh, we'll be watching the radar trends today. This is the high-resolution uh, RPM, the 4-kilometer RPM valid at 3 o'clock this afternoon. 
and you can see a band of showers and storms along the cold front. And at 3 o'clock, the rain should be along and east of a line from near Decatur to Birmingham down to about Chatham in Washington County. And uh, as those storms progress to the east, they could hit a better environment. So, you know, it's just a marginal chance, but just the day where you'll watch the radar because what do we say? When it comes to thunderstorms, expect the unexpected. I don't think the rain will be all that heavy today. In fact, most models are suggesting rain amounts will be a quarter inch or so. All right, now tomorrow uh, it will be colder. Now, up in the northeastern corner of the state late tonight, there could be a few snow flurries after midnight for Fort Payne, uh, Center, Leesburg, maybe Gadsden. And, uh, of course, the big storm is on the coast tomorrow, and you can see how the, they're just being slammed with heavy snow near and just west of D.C. and Baltimore. Uh, but for us, and the other thing, too, sometimes wraparound clouds can be more extensive than you think. Um, and I'm not totally sure it's going to be a sunny day tomorrow. We'll be optimistic and say becoming sunny. But for those of you in northeast Alabama, the day could be kind of cloudy. Everybody breezy and sharply colder. I honestly don't think we get out of the 40s. The GFS is printing a high of 49. Sounds about right. Thursday, the morning will be cold. We'll start the day at or below freezing, but we should warm up into the upper 50s. And Friday, I think you'll like that day. Sunny with a high in the mid-60s. Should be a beautiful day. Now, Saturday as we kick off the weekend, uh, just great. I, I mean, this is a good Saturday. Sunny with a high in the upper 60s. Yeah, buddy. And Sunday, while the weather is unsettled in the west, uh, I think we stay dry. And the GFS now is showing a high of 73. That's some spring weather. Uh, but today will be kind of windy, a mix of sun and clouds. Uh, strong south winds beginning to develop out of that storm. Here's Monday of next week. You can see the uh, positive tilt trough approaching. And that suggests a, chance of, a good chance of showers and storms on Monday. And then Tuesday, we are dry. A little cooler, but not too cold. We'll check the European on the timing, and uh, it is a little slower than the GFS. The European has the rain coming in here at 6 a.m. Uh, Tuesday, so the, the GFS is more of a late Monday night and Tuesday morning rain. The GFS more of a Monday rain, and we'll just fine-tune that as we get closer. And we'll jump out to the end of the forecast this March 20th, deep up or low across the plains. That looks like a severe weather potential there as we are clearly in the warm sector of that. And, hey, this is March. It's tornado season. Uh, and a big snow back in the colder air across the Plain States. But, again, this is two weeks out there, just something to watch in coming days and weeks. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. And don't forget to watch us on uh, the live stream of the television this evening if you can. ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. 